Coke Berwick Brown. Coke Berwick Brown. All right. If you have ever enjoyed Wilson's Tom Buck, you have a pretty good idea of what Toke Berwick Brown is all about. This is an SP, but it's an SP with a little something, something extra. Let's take a look here at the stuff and see what we've got going. This is a 25 gram tin that I purchased directly from Toke Tobacco. Uh, they often run nice little specials where you can score yourself a free can. Uh, shipping is inexpensive from Toke, and so if you're going to buy a Toke product, I recommend you go straight to the folks at Toke. Okay, this flower is of medium coarse grind. I'll hold up a big wad of it for you so you can see it, sort of see it flecking off my fingers there. Whoa! It's getting caught in the... Um, wind from the heating vent that's right behind my computer. Uh, it is fairly dry. I get snuff all over me. Uh, it's fairly dry. Yeah, it is definitely an SP and it definitely has something extra, maybe lemon peel or something. It's nice. If you like SPs, and I know about half the snuffers I've talked to don't really much care for SPs, but if you're like me and you like an SP occasionally, I strongly suggest you try some of this Toke Berwick Brown. As I said, medium dry, medium grind, uh, nice bergamot in there, but something else. I think, like I said, some other citrus. It's very, very, very pleasant. If you like SPs, you're going to like the, the Toke Berwick Brown. Another Toke product to look at today is the Toke Whiskey and Honey. This gets reviewed a lot. I've seen, uh, I think uh, Nash has got a review on this, and I think a couple of other folks do it as well. People say, why are you rotating the cans? Well, it's because I'm blind. I can't see on the screen or otherwise if the uh, can is oriented upright. So I do this little spin thing. So you get an idea of what the tin looks like and hope I'm on camera. Maybe go like this. Oh, toke, toke, whiskey and honey. Like the Spanish gem, except that the grind is uh, not quite as fine. It is a medium grind, medium moisture, high moisture, almost a high moisture. Oh, that smells so nice. It's got a very bready, as Glenn would say, a fusty, musty, sort of bready, yeasty smell to it. Uh, clumps very nicely, stays together. As I said, this is a medium grind, uh, medium moist, reminiscent of the Spanish gem a little bit in terms of the way it smells and tastes, but easier to snuff, I think, than the Spanish gem. That is marvelous. I'm getting the honey. I'm not getting a lot of whiskey. Uh, nice, bready, honey, yeasty sort of smell to it. And there comes the whiskey. The whiskey sneaks in. You get a couple of seconds to appreciate the honey, the breadiness of it, and then the whiskey comes creeping on in. That is nice. Roderick, well done. That's nicely played. Wow. Well, that's our two for today. Both of them from Toke. Both of them very different. The Toke Berwick Brown and the Toke Whiskey and Honey. From the Dank Basement, this is Paul Shelbetter, your Uncle Squinty, reminding you to press that like button, leave a comment, like me on Facebook, 
subscribe to my channel. Remember, only you can make me go viral. Because God knows I'm not going to do it on my own talent.